my channel. I am so excited for today's video because that means I am officially starting my outdoor summer vegetable garden, but I'm starting it here in my kitchen. So I am going to be planting some seeds, obviously indoors, and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So I have never done this before. I have never had a garden like at all, especially a vegetable garden. So this is all very new to me, but I am going to take you guys on this whole journey. But first I just want to share why I am starting seeds indoors because when I first got started like with this whole idea of gardening, I kept seeing this come up and I was very confused. I was like, why am I starting them indoors? Does everything need to be started indoors? And the short answer is you don't have to start everything indoors but it kind of gives you a jump start on your garden. Um, you can start basically growing your plants for about four, even six weeks inside, so that when you actually plant them outside, you're not just starting from the seed, which is also called direct sowing. And that way it basically gives you a jump start and you're able to take more advantage of the growing season and hopefully have more mature plants and therefore a better harvest. Now that is your first reason for starting seeds indoors, but the second reason is it's, it can save you a ton of money. Now you can skip over all of this. You can go to your local nursery or wherever garden store and you can pick up starter plants or you know plants that already have seedlings. So you can buy those and then transfer those into your garden and plant those but those cost like a few dollars a piece. So if you're gonna be planting you know, a decent amount of plants, that can add up real quick. But you can buy packets of seeds that have tons of seeds in here for just a few dollars. So you can end up making you know, your own seedlings for just like pennies, basically. Also, I just feel like it's kind of like a fun little science experiment and I am excited to do this. It's also a real good distraction because we are still quarantined right now. Um, so it's just kind of a fun project to be working on. Okay, so let's just jump right in. First things first, you need something to actually start your seeds in. This is what most of what I've seen people use. You can use, there's all, you can use little containers. You can even do it in like egg cartons I've seen. Um, you can get these little like peat pellets. Um, but this just seemed like the easiest thing for me. Um, so basically they are trays. This has 72 little pockets in here that you can start a seed in. And then on the bottom here is a tray and I'll explain in a second why that's important. I got like a 10 pack of each of these. So I am literally set for life <laughs> because you can reuse these over and over. So this is like a one-time purchase, which is really nice. So on the bottom here, there is this tray, which is totally necessary because this sits inside here and you actually water underneath. It's important to water your seedlings from underneath because the pressure of the water coming down can actually hurt them. So that's why you need this underneath tray. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is some kind of potting soil. Now, the number one no-no I kept coming across in my research is you definitely cannot just go outside and grab soil that's already in your garden because one, it's likely gonna be way too compact and heavy. You need really light, fluffy soil for a seedling to be able to germinate and grow. But then second is it could have, um, the soil out there could have like certain diseases, which would really affect obviously your tiny baby seedlings who are trying to grow. So you need to make sure that you're getting some kind of soil. I am no expert when it comes to soil. I am still confused about compost and soil and all of that, just all of the fertilization still have a lot to learn, which I will learn before we actually plant out in the garden. This one I've never even heard of, but it was recommended by a lovely lady here on YouTube. Actually, her name is Melissa K. Norris. I have learned so much from her, you guys. Go look her up if you're gonna be starting a garden. She has, she like does it all. She's got website, podcast, YouTube, blog, like all of it, um, and she is just extremely knowledgeable. So this is what she recommends and she basically grows all of her family's food for an entire year, so I am following her recommendations. <laughs> okay, and speaking of people and resources that have been super helpful to me, um, like I said, this is all new to me. I have been learning very quickly on the fly, and I actually have written up a blog post to kind of complement this video, and I've linked specific you know, YouTube videos and website links and documents, things that I have found super, super helpful when it comes to learning about this whole process um, and just 
planning a garden in general. So make sure to check that out if you're gonna attempt this yourself because I think you'll find those super helpful. Okay, so I've got my tray all ready to go. The soil's in there. So now the next step that you wanna do is pre-moisten the soil. So I've got my cute little watering can here. This is actually from Target, I think, I love it. So I'm just going to pour this in that bottom tray so that the soil can soak up some of that water. That way when the seeds are planted, they have the water that they need, they have access to it right away, which will hopefully help them you know, germinate and grow as best I can. <laughs> okay, so that is all done, and I'm just gonna give them a few minutes to soak up that water um, so they can get all pre-moistened. Um, and in the meantime, I wanted to share with you guys what I'm actually gonna be planting and what I am going to be growing. So I have seven different types of seeds here, seven different types of vegetables, and I wanted to start small. This is the first time I've ever grown a garden, so I didn't wanna get too in over my head. I kinda wish I maybe went for 10, but that's okay, I have seven, six of which I am going to be planting now um, and starting indoors. Then there is one that I'm gonna be just starting later because, because it's not actually gonna be going in my garden beds and I will explain which one that is um, in a second. So as far as all of the seeds I'm gonna be starting indoors today, I am going to be starting broccoli, um, onions, baby leaf lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, and bell peppers. Now, on the back of the seed pack, this is super helpful, it will give you so, I don't know if you can see all of that, so much information, and this is kind of like your little mini guide on everything to do with these. When it comes to starting indoors, how long they should be indoors before they're transplanted out, if they should be hardened off, meaning like spend a little time outside before they actually get planted outside, um, when they should be harvested, how far apart they should be planted, all of that information that is kind of critical, you can find it all on the back of the seed packet. Now I am kind of like been doing this whole process quick and dirty, so there are some that probably should have been planted a little earlier, like onions especially. Some of these may or like don't necessarily have to be planted inside, but I'm just going for it and I'm planting them all inside. We will see what happens during transplant. Um, I'm just trying to make this as straightforward as possible for myself. So we'll see how it goes. And I did kind of come up with a little guide for myself as far as my garden plan. And I talked about this in my garden planning video, how I wanted to figure out how much of each plant I was going to actually plant in my garden so that Obviously the information I need now when I am planting seedlings. So I did figure out numbers of each one that I would love to plant outside. Um, the most is like 12 and then the others are like six and nine. Um, so I'm going for like a decent amount of each of these plants, but obviously it's only, you know, we, we eat more vegetables than we do and then what is actually gonna be planted. The only thing I'm having regrets on is I wish I would have planted, I would have done summer squash. I feel like it's just kind of too late now because I'm doing this kind of late. I'm like right on the edge of when this should be done. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that I do have my plan here, but I am going to plant a few extra of each just because I wanna make sure that I'm not like shooting myself in the foot. And if I end up having seedlings that don't get planted, not the end of the world. I would rather have enough plants um, and really be able to grow the amount that I'm shooting for. Okay, so now is the fun part. This is when I'm actually going to plant the seeds. Now again, on the back of that seed packet, it's gonna give you instructions on how deep the seeds should be planted, how many should be planted per little tiny pot. I'm gonna do two to three seeds in each one regardless, just because they don't always germinate and I just wanna give myself a good shot. So um, they all have, like I said, information on the back, but a good rule of thumb as far as what I've come, of, uh, come across, and again, I'm no expert, but about a half an inch down is usually good. Cover it lightly with soil and then lightly pack it down so there's no air bubbles. That seems to be like across the board a good way to go. But again, there's always more specific instruction on the actual seeds that you buy. Oh, and I forgot to mention the seven vegetable that I'm not planting today. It's the only one I'm gonna try and plant outside. Um, spaghetti squash. We love spaghetti squash. We eat a ton of spaghetti squash and I heard it's pretty easy to grow, but I'm gonna do this outside in containers because this is not something that obviously goes in a garden bed. I mean, it, I guess it could, but it takes up a lot of room.
I've got my seeds all planted in here and ready to go. Oh, this is heavy because of the water. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to share a couple other things to keep in mind based on my research if you're starting seeds in indoors. First and foremost, make sure that you are labeling them um, because they can be hard to tell apart and apparently it's really easy to lose track of which is which. So just make labels, save yourself time. I see a lot of people use, um, or save yourself a headache, I should say. I see a lot of gardeners will use like popsicle sticks. I just made little paper labels because I don't have any popsicle sticks laying around. Okay, next, two more things to really keep in mind when you're starting seeds indoors, and those are light and heat. So a lot of the videos I watched and blog, blog posts I read highly recommend two things, and I'll be totally honest, I'm doing <laughs> neither of those things. And I'll kind of explain why, not because I know what I'm doing, but kind of just because I dove into this head first and I'm doing this real quick and dirty. So a lot of what is recommended is to actually use artificial light. So to get certain light bulbs that you can hang like two inches over the, you know, first the soil and then the seedlings so that they are getting plenty of light directly above them. Um, I am just gonna be sticking our plants in a really sunny windowsill. We have in our farmhouse really these beautiful deep windowsills that actually this will fit on the entire windowsill and it is just bathed in light. So I've seen kind of both things where people are like, lights are key and then I've seen a ton of people who are like, you don't need them. You mo most likely will still have plants that sprout and grow well. So we're gonna see what happens. One of the biggest problems if, you know, if they're looking at sun instead of a directly overhead light is they can start to stretch towards the sun and get leggy and kind of weak, which you don't want. So we will see what happens with mine. So we will see what happens with mine. The other thing is heat. Now you can buy, um, they're called like germination, I think like pads. They're basically like heating pads, but for your plants. And you can put them right underneath so it provides a heat source. Again, I'm not gonna do this. It seems kind of hit or miss. Some people swear by them and say that they're necessary. Other people say that your plants are still gonna germinate, maybe just not as quickly, most likely. So again, I am just gonna see what happens. This is just kind of a trial by fire year of gardening. Okay, and then the very last thing to do with your seedlings is just keep an eye on them. Look at them every day, see how they're doing, water them every day. You always want their soil to be wet, not sopping wet, but you wanna make sure it's not drying out. And you can actually tell, you'll see that the soil starts to become a lighter brown versus a darker, like closer to black brown um, when it is nice and wet. So I am just gonna be keeping an eye on these to see how they do. I am excited to hopefully see a lot of sprouts. I think this is gonna be fun and exciting. So I'm gonna go stick these in a sunny windowsill and we'll see how this goes. But that is all I have for this video, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for all of my upcoming gardening videos because like I said, I plan to take you guys on the journey with me, share, you, share with you everything that I'm learning, my successes, my failures. Maybe you can learn a lot from me and probably mostly from my mistakes. But I'm really excited about this. I feel like this is kind of like a new project and journey for me and I'm just so like inspired to just go down this path and I'm really excited to be sharing it. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, follow me on Instagram as well. I am always on there most days updating you guys about my life and what's going on and I'm sure I will be updating you on all my little sprouts that are going to be happening. But that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.